What is going on, everybody? We are live. Are we? Oh, hey, Jeremy. Oh, hey. Boop, boop, boop. How you doing? What have we got ourselves into today, man? Trying new things. Definitely trying new things. Well, we are, we are towing a car. I want to say at least a mile or two upstream. Two miles. Was it two miles? And when we say towing, as you can see behind us, we are literally towing. Believe right. it or not, there is a Volkswagen Beetle. Right now, I'm, I'm trying floating to get it underneath that. I'm trying to get it me lined up again. So I'd like, by all means, if you guys want to rag on me, I I fully support it. And this might be our craziest in a sense recovery, um, because it's a two mile float up river. Yeah, and we've probably gone I don't know a block. <laughs> so not even um, a football field. Just yet. to say now, you're not going to see this thing in this live stream because we have like probably two hours of just doing this. But yeah, we, since we have two hours, we wanted to do a quick live and let you guys know what we have going on. We may do another quick live later once we get it pulled out of the water. Maybe. But yeah. what do you think? I think I need to shave my sideburns. I think, man, I'm white. Oh my gosh. No more filming. No more filming? <laughs> this is a face for radio. Well, you know. It's putting along. I just gotta, so, uh, I gotta yeah. thread the needle, so to speak. We've, we've been very busy lately. We, uh... I think we had a week off. We skipped, and I guess we'll have another week. I don't, you had I don't a week know. off. I might have this this video done. These videos take so much longer than normal videos to put out. Um, so you guys have to just bear with us on Gotta that. Gotta deal with it. Yeah, my arm's getting tired. It's part of the I, game. I need, a, I need a phone mount. But yeah, we have a, a you know under that bag. If you can see right there, there is a Volkswagen Beetle hanging below it. That you went, you just dove down and hooked it up. How was that? It was freezing. It was the, like, it, the weather out here is nice, but I don't know why. The, the, this river, 57 degree water. And I did not have thermals on. So it pretty much is like diving, I don't know, naked? That's what it felt like. <laughs> so, yeah, it was cold. I didn't like it. I mean, the visibility is really, really amazing. You can actually see the car if you get right by it. This floating. is like really hard to do. Um, I think so. Basically, let me show you since we're not far. If you see this, if you see this bridge over here, it was right by the pillar there. There's actually like a little parking lot here, and I guess it's been in there a while. But you can probably see like a car right there. Basically, there's a little road. Now it's a walking path, but who knows how many years or decades back in the day it went down and got dumped and floated right next to that pillar. Ugh, my arm's tired. So that's where we, that's where we found it like a year ago, maybe. On our, uh, on our other I channel. I think it was colder, but I don't think it was, it was only a year. But we was out here, I don't know what we was doing, honestly. I think we was just scouting for cars. And we found uh, found this one. In the oddest spot. We didn't think we'd find it either. It's like right under a bridge. There's no there's no real access point. This has probably been here 40 years at least. So there's that. Yeah, I mean, there's that. There's like a road over there that it went off. Man, we need a tugboat. It could have gone off the bridge, but I don't think so. But, uh, need a barge. Hope you guys, you know, this was, um, we haven't done a live in a minute. I like doing lives, but now you have to go live for at least an hour. Spider. That's the rule. If you go live, well, you gotta I don't think I'm going to hold my arm up like this for an hour. You can. You want to hold it? No. I mean, you want me to hold it three minutes, man. Why don't you bang it? I know, I'm tired. Gosh. They say, hey, Nug. They just want to see you. Oh, they just want to see me. Hi. Hi, Anthony. Oh. I know he is. I give him his comments. AJ. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited, dude. This thing is covered in uh, what are they called? Musk or zebra mussels? Zebra mussels. Invasive species, and they got it bad here. Right there, in that bag. We only had to use one bag. These are uh, sub salve. Sub salve. Spot. They're spot. You know, they're sponsoring us. They hooked us up with some some lift bags, and these things are awesome. You guys already have probably seen them. We floated. Oh, we floated. This is a, a third full car size F-150. Yeah. And we got the, and the Jimmy. The Jimmy. Well, Jimmy? Jimmy. The dang Jimmy. Did we the use GMC a lift Jimmy. Okay. And then yeah, the Impala. To... So we used... Well, we, the Impala we, was... This is the fourth car we floated. Impala was our training car. Impala was the... But that... The Impala weighed, was pushing the limits. It weighed 40 ton. So I think we're good. Um, Dude, ha oh my god. 0.6 miles an hour. It's going to be hours before we get back. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. I don't know if we get... I mean, we might be able to get that van. I hope, I There's mean, another van up here a lot closer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's half the distance, so we can float it the same way. 
You said you was gonna dive it though, so I'm, I'm gonna let you do it. Now. I might dive. You might as well. My ears always put your thingy issues. Put, put, your, put your things you. Bought. I have an ear spray. You spray in there. Yeah. Use I get spray. infections. But uh, poor little fella. Oh yeah, thank you for the donations for the tow truck. Um, and all the help with that. We do have a GoFundMe. I don't know where the link is. I haven't really, I haven't really promoted the GoFundMe, but we have a GoFundMe for a new tow truck, one day, or oh. maybe maybe a skid steer. We have lots of plans. Our old red, big red, is still running good. I mean, good as she could. There's no check engine lights on it, so that's you know, in my mind, that's that's good. Good as she could. But yeah, right there, man. It's gonna be another hour or so, but uh, it's taking a while because like I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. But like it just you just can't pull it in a straight line. It, it keeps whipping around behind us, and I can't go fast. Like there is a small kind of current, I would say. I mean, barely. Yeah. There's always some sort of current. See, it, like it gets up beside us. It's weird. So like I've been constantly having to back up. We've never floated a car this far before, so this is a new one for well, we've us. We've never towed a car. We we, we, kinda, we, we pulled, pulled them. we pulled them a couple hundred feet. Yeah, we've never used not two miles. No, heck no. And our plan is to get this other van we know about. Same um, way, just not as far. Yeah, so this will, this will, uh, this is giving us an idea of what we have to deal with. But you know, I do say if we we only have one lift bag on this one, I think it would be easier if we had to. We just were, it was so cold, oh. and Jeremy was being a weenie. Dude, you can kiss my butt. Fifty-seven <laughs> degrees is cold. Now, if I had thermals on, I'd have been fine. I just, I just went down with dry suit, and nothing. So that's not. That's like, that's like not really. It's, it's, not, it's like diving in water. The only thing is I wasn't wet. Well. Still hurt. I got those. I got those burny tingles. You know, you get so cold and you're like. Gah! You didn't bring your thermals, man. No, they're actually in the RV. I remember I took them out of the van. But uh, I need to put pull this thing inside out. So you're saying if I dive in my wetsuit, I'm gonna freeze? Oh, you'll feel my pain. I mean, you you. I think you handle cold better than I do, though. Because like I just I'm sensitive to cold. These old bones, man, they can't handle it. You know what I mean? What we got going here? At least a nice day. Absolutely, absolutely. What else we got going on? Vicky Bird. Yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got, got some people coming in here. We got 94 watching. We are, uh, where are we at? What does that mean? We're in Oak Ridge. Oh, Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. We have a lot of history here. We pulled lots of cars out. Yeah. Found a missing, missing woman a long time ago. So uh, they, they definitely know who we are. And we're good with the tow company, so they're gonna. I know they're gonna be help us out. Pretty confident in that. Yep, yep. And uh, if you guys are in the area, you know we'll be at. The oh gosh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have a party. We'll be at the rowing club boat ramp Some, in about an hour or two. I would, I would say an hour. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even made the turn yet. And if you want to see this beetle, you know, you can stop by. We, we might. We are busy, but we'll be like, hey, hi. <laughs> so I don't know. So we got 102 people watching this, but uh, if you're watching this right now. I, I put it in the video, but I want to make sure you guys know. We are officially a 501c3 nonprofit. We have started it. We've gone through all the channels, all the paperwork. It was crazy, but we are official. Now, what does that mean? That means we can now apply for, you know, like corporate sponsors, government grants, all kinds of stuff that could help us cleaning out the rivers and searching for missing people. And Every donation that anybody gives us is a tax write-off. So by all means, if you guys are watching this, you want to go to our website, rapidcc.org, throw a dollar our way. That's food in our bellies and gas in the tank. Sometimes that's vice versa. Yeah. But still, every little bit helps out, and I do appreciate everybody watching this and, and supporting us. Because at the end of the day, that's, 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 that's what it's all about. Yeah. I got to get this car on the other side of that orange sun. Yeah, we made it about, we started at the bridge and we made it this far, so. It was right by the pillar on the other side of the bridge, so. Yeah, uh, your dad owned a bug as a kid, nice. No leg room in the back seat. Yeah, so before we, uh, all the other vehicles we floated, we had to use two bags. These are sub-salve lift bags, two 4,000 pound bags. We only put one on here. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, uh, it's a small car. I don't know how much a Beetle weighs, but I feel like we could like push one over, if like just me and you, like if it was on on, you know. I mean, they're pretty darn tiny. It's parked. I am so glad we decided not to go the other way then. Oh yeah. Cause this is a straight shot to the bend, and then another straight shot. That way, it's a narrow channel, or else you're hitting like it's almost <laughs> like three feet of water. So like, 
threading the, the way it's, it's acting now, it would have been. I've been surprised if we didn't get stuck needle. somewhere. Yeah, we're just towing a car. Just, just, just a, just a typical day pulling a, pulling yeah. a, a, a Volkswagen Beetle. Yep. Uh, hit the like button if you're hitting yeah, the hit, sibling hit, hit, hit the for light. a slug bug sting. They can't even see that. Who can't see what? Oh, I'll do it again. Ow! We need to figure out what color it is before we can punch each other. Go slug bug blue, white. <laughs> Well, didn't you see the color? Oh, it's covered in zebra muscles. I, my, I forgot. I think it's red, but I can't remember. Red or green. Well, we're going to try to pressure wash. Well, that pressure. We're going to try to pretty much pressure wash or wash off this thing once we pull it out to get the zebra muscles off. But I think we'll have to scrape them off. Well, do you remember they started coming off the yellow car we pulled out here? Well, they're, they'll, they'll fall off. I'm sure nobody cares because they're invasive species. They all need to die. How's it hanging, Nug? Uh, right now, it's kind of, it's not much. You know, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> what? And that's what that means? How they hanging? Well, yeah. Low and to the left. I don't know. Yeah, um, my brother had a bug. and Everybody had a bug. I never had a bug. Back in my day, when the Volkswagen first came out. <laughs> right. You know, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I'd love to show you guys the bug on this live stream. But once we get busy towing it and pulling it out, it's hard, to, pictures it, up it's there, hard to do a live stream. You have all the pictures up. We'll have a full video. But... Just imagine a beetle bug right there below that bag. You can imagine it, right? I can imagine a lot of things. I can imagine having some lunch right now. I brought, uh, actually I don't have any food, I have water. Yeah, I'm good. I like suffering. We could, we could Uber Eats. I got a big belly. Get DoorDash, some, a pizza. I had a 2015 beetle. Nice. I think this was a little older. I don't know if I would fit in one. Are they big, are they spacious? No. Like in the driver's seat? No. You can slide the seat back. But uh, it's like putting you in a Miata. Yeah, it's a little small. Well, if it's a convertible Miata, I could just my head can stick out. I say whatever you want. My arm is getting tired. Here, you want to hold on and I'll drive. No, no. I don't have a. Uh, we're not always very prepared. Look at our very organized boat. We worse. got the other lift bag, hoses, tanks. We've got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> you know, I wonder if we do the math. How much it costs us to do a car? What do you mean, do a car? How much? How much money do we have to like restore a car? No, to to get a car to the river. Like how much? How much money it costs us? How much are we spending? Yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, if you count gas. That's what I'm saying. Gas, food. Um, the tank, the air was like what seven bucks. I don't know what people would charge their time because most of the people that actually do this are. Well, I don't. I order just the like, cost, not the labor. Work for the state, you know. Oh, they charge like. This is like a few thousand dollar job, I bet. If. if if that's actually paying us to do this. Probably. Probably. But uh, I... I don't care. We just love doing it. We oh, it's this fun. The, the challenge is neat. This right now is not much of a challenge as long as we can just keep it on course. If we don't, if we don't run into ground and we don't run it around these poles, we're good. So, yeah, we're going... You can't even see it yet, but we're going around that bend right there, and then it's a straight shot to the boat ramp. Um, typically, there it's a huge rowing... It might be the most... One of the most popular rowing areas in the country, maybe. I don't know if that's true. Sounds true. But uh, Oak Ridge is kind of known for what? Their, their Manhattan Project. Their nuclear testing government stuff. Oh, it has the atomic bomb, dude. The Manhattan Project. This, yeah. is, this is where it went down. That's nuclear, right? Yeah, I think they made the bomb here. The, the one that they dropped. I, I, I don't want to sound stupid, but I know it, it's something that has to do with the Manhattan Project. I know lots of government facilities and, and secrets. Secret alien. Dude, look how dry my skin is. Lick it. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like licking a Lay's potato chip. Nuclear City. Look at that huge puffy. Are you talking about? Are you talking about Jeremy or that? Me, me or that? <laughs> how dare you? Yeah, we're just towing a car. Just another day. We're just idling right now. Oh, you talking about clouds? Yeah, that's some nice. Oh clouds yeah, clouds too. Yeah, that was stupid. So, what do you guys want to know while we're out waiting and pulling this car? This is number 19. We need to do something yeah, special for number 20. 25 feet. We're still good. You got any ideas for 20, our 20th car pulled our out? 20th car. We should do a sp Well, the van will be the 20th car. I, I think so. I, but we just have to. Bug should have been the 20th. I it's think the bug. Should, I think it should have been. We can we can set it by there and wait and then do uh, a it's van. Too late now. <laughs> now. Now the word's out. What's up, Liz? Bradshaw, how's it going? We are doing great. You know, just. Just pulling a car. Just pulling a uh, old. What year do you think this? Oh my gosh. 70s? VW bug it. You think so? It's 
gotta be. I mean, it's 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 old. You know, it's funny. Like the older cars get more views and do better on YouTube. I guess they're just weirder. Yeah, I wish we were gonna pull out that yellow thing on on this channel. Oh yeah, that was another really old one. What kind of was that? A, what kind of car was that? Oh. That was a VW, wasn't it? Was that a VW? No, uh, that was like a. No, it was a, a, a Honda. Oh yeah. CVCC, CV, not yeah. Civic. A CVCC. When are you coming to Arkansas? Arkansas Day Rudabaugh. Well, no idea. I don't know. What's in Arkansas? Well, you better watch out for their prop. Can we get that rope? You think I don't know what I'm doing? I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little hesitant. Give away the steering wheel. What was I just saying, man? You got me. You got me. He just tangled up the rope in the prop. Happens to the best of us. Can I flip this around this way? No. Dang, look at that. Break it. Oh my gosh. So maybe I maybe I can let you guys see this car. If we're floating this close to it. Yep, so that's what happens when you get too close. Dude, what did you do, man? Oh my gosh. Dude, we're about to hit the we're about to hit the car. Yeah, the car's right there. Well, look, they got to see the car. Well, let's see if we can see it. If I get real close. Well, yeah, you can, I mean, you can see it. Well, if I don't cover it. Yeah, look at that. So I don't know how good it is on camera, but there's the one tire. The sun's kind of shining right there. Did you get it? Yeah, I just gotta figure out how to. So yeah, there it is, right there. Well, we you know we've never pulled a car two miles. That's the thing; it's new. But we only have one bag on it, so with two bags would have been easier. Let's just be honest. But it's a small car, and we're trying to conserve air. And uh, it was cold. And Jeremy was lazy. You don't know how to back up? Well, don't get tangled again. Man, look at that bug. That's so crazy, isn't it? It's so clear out here. I don't know what color it is. I'm saying pink. No, I think it's red. Saying pink? I'm hoping it's pink. You know, we found a car uh, in Augusta, that red, what was it? It was like a red, it was a passport, I think. But man, if it didn't look hot pink underwater, I wanted to be like, I just know better now. Dude, you're, you're about to get tangled again. You're going right, man. Don't, dude, you're gonna trim up now, or don't, don't do it. You're scaring me. Why, because I know what I'm doing? Did you get over it? Oh, okay. Are you serious? That yeah, looks like it's still working. But the, the sonar looked like it touched the ground. Jeremy Lazy, no way. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Man, that's me. I'm just ragging on you. I hate getting ragged on. You love rags. Why does everybody rag on you? Why does it, you know what? I've been doing this my whole life. <laughs> All right, tell me your life story. Well. We got a thousand people in here. I wish. We got a couple hundred. That's cool. Okay, so we're not stuck. Man, I don't know. I just want to get this done for with. I'm hungry. Heck with, that, heck with that van. No, we got to get all the cars out from Oak Ridge. Uh, well, that's... We have three more than that I know of. <laughs> well, this is going to be a while, so... Hey, what's the orange triangle for? What are you talking about? I don't know. What does your chart say? That orange triangle over there on the post? 
I think it means stay on the right side. Well, that's the path I'm supposed to be taking, but as you can see, it's not working too my advantage. And I hope a big barge doesn't come through. Listen, I, uh, yeah, I'm never gonna outlive the pink car. I am owning the pink car. I'm gonna buy pink scuba tanks. I already have stickers on adambrownadventures.com, my website, that uh, I, got, I got an artist to make cartoon versions of a, a pink car. They're pretty cool. You're about to mess up again, man. Will you shut up and just let me work? <laughs> I cannot get this thing turned. So Sorry. how long are we going on this live? We are in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. We got a Beetle, Volkswagen Beetle, floating under that bag. We got uh, two miles to go up river. What you need to do is put floaties on the rope. That way it won't sink. Oh yeah, floaties on the rope would be a good idea. We could just tie a buoy to the top or well, that rope's supposed to float, I guess, right? No idea. You're scaring me. Oh. You know, you know our, so our original plan was actually to get a different car, not this bug, but we knew about this one, so we kind of were in the area, and we're like, you know what? We're going to go get that thing out. It's been polluting the water too long. This is going to look so crazy when you guys see this thing come out. <laughs> I know, dude. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Pain in the butt. Why don't you tie the ropes up higher? What do you mean higher? Put them up on the... Oh, yeah. You know, we're learning. We're learning. Every recovery we learn, we get better and better. I don't want to rip the damn rail off. Well. That's why I'm not goosing it the whole time, too. I was like, I don't want that, I don't want that car to come off that thing. Yeah. So we just cut along. I mean, look, look at that. We're, we're okay. I, th I think, I think we're moving. <laughs> Barely. Barely. We just get past these two uh, thingies. How fast can you move? See, it's almost like I have to stop. Back up. Why you just bit. gun it? I did a second ago, and that didn't work either. Because remember, it slung way out there. I'm like, oh crap! Oh, well, you know, usually I like to go live, and it'd be if you were to speed up, it would stay behind better. The problem is, I don't, I don't know. Explain the problem. Is that what they said? For to speed up, it would stay behind better. Yeah, there's so much turbulence, but so if, to speak. If you mess up or it swings, it's this boat is not powerful enough to correct correct the turn I feel like I could try but I want to get past this dang hazard yeah there's a there's a couple there's a pole right up here right there where is it oh right there right up there so it's 24 feet get right a now, ski hook so. and hook around the motor to keep the rope afloat well yeah I mean we have it kind of going around the poles to uh, you know on each side to one yeah the water clarity was what, like six 10 feet? I don't know. Oh, gee. Crazy. Easy 10 feet. Think so? It's the clear, clearest, you know, in a long while. It's really creepy. It was, it was clear when I found Virginia. Really? Yeah. Like you, I actually filmed that with a 360 camera. It's kind of weird. So, it's been, well, maybe we'll go till 30 minutes. Oh, you're supposed to go for an hour. That's the rule. I'm not going to, my arm's getting tired. You are such a bee. Well, here you hold it. I don't I'm driving. Yeah, see, you just don't want to hold it. I don't want to hold it. We wanted to go live for you guys, just kind of touch base, let you know what we're doing. We got this VW bug we're trying to pull out. We got another van we're going to try to pull out if we get this out quick enough, which it's already, I don't know. This is not going as fast. I mean, I knew it was going to take a minute. But luckily, the van is a lot closer. And I really think if we had two bags, it would float a lot better. Well, floating's floating, you know. Yeah, but it's gonna, it's 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 hanging low, so it's not as aerodynamic like underwater. If it was flat, it would. I feel like it would go quicker. Like it's like a pontoon boat upside down, or a pontoon boat upside down with one pontoon. Uh, I don't know. It sounds right to me. Regardless, we're gonna get this car out. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, Let me tie it to the front and go in reverse. Then it'd be able to like the, the steering would be in the front instead of the back. 
the reverse is less powered than. Well, I mean, we're going half mile an hour. I mean, what's what's what? what? Well, we could try, but I don't know. I don't either. So how we hook it on the front? I think if you can gun it, you'll be able to go faster. I'm telling you, if you gun it, that car's coming off. Like all that water pushing against that car. See, floating higher, less drag underwater. Jeremy said, no, she got her hammer back. And somebody sent her a hammer. So now she has two hammers. Floating higher, less drag. Too much strain on your motor. I'm just idling, actually. It's just, it's just I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put in a lot of, a lot of oomph on it. Yeah, don't get wrapped around that pole. What do you think I'm doing? I don't know what you don't. You, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing either. That's a pizza. I would kill a pizza right now. I would kill a pizza myself. Well, tell them to stop on the road right here behind us. It's like just pull over halfway down. But yeah, we're in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Um, and we've already. How many cars have we gotten out of this area? One. Our first ever video on uh, Wrecked and Recovered here was a car. Four. Speed five. In Oak Ridge. Six. Six cars. And if you guys know Two about of them any. was down that other way, though. Remember, it was then across the bridge in that little spot. Jeremy, what's your address? What? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I want to tell you. But uh, I'm going to need. Uh, need well, to, you have a P.O. box, right? I don't know it. I mean, it's, 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 on, it's, it's on Jeremy's channel. It's on the about page on my channel. How about that? Go live when you get the van out. Uh, we will try to go live when we get the van out. Let's say that. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But I think the, the bug would be cooler to go live. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, hit the like, hit that bell. I know this live isn't as exciting, but we just wanted to do it real quick because we get really distracted. We always Our plan is to always go live when we're actually pulling the cars out, but it's so much work going on, and we're trying not to block the boat ramp, and we're trying to, like, do all this and that. We don't have a we don't have a cameraman today, so I'm doing all the cam. We're, we got this is our cameraman right here, Mr. Tripod. Hey. Um, but yeah, do you have you guys been liking the videos? Let me know. Let me know if we want to. We've been talking about like maybe changing the format a little bit. Like right now, we always you know start in the tow truck and then we we kind of have we kind of do the same similar thing each time. Um, but I mean, kind of wondering if we go simpler, if it would be better or not. Right. Jeremy Jeremy just wants to like do a one take the whole day. Raw footage. Yeah, we gotta put this bug down and like redo it now. You know, re re pull re pull it. What are you talking about? You say you gotta do more than one take. Oh well. Is my GoPro still going? Probably not. Oh, it is. Alright, any last questions, Adam? Have you got any Wrecked and Recovered hats yet? Well, we have these for sale on wreckedandrecovered.com. Um, and you can purchase those there. I think it goes to Jeremy's website when you click on the... Just go to wreckedandrecovered.com and you'll see the merch button. We're getting pulled off to the side here, man. I'm going to bottom this thing out. Well, you might be. No, we're still 25 feet. This is fun. Ooh, that was close. Raw footage is the best. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful hot day here in Oak Ridge. Happy birthday, Jeremy. Oh yeah, it's your birthday yesterday. No, it's not. Two days ago? Okay, yes, it's my birthday. I admit it. And he's he's a he's a ripe old age of 55. <laughs> How dare you? 45. 44. 44. Age is earned, bro. Well. All right, guys. Um, how far is the bug hanging down? Well, we have it on the side. Maybe like 10 feet, 8 feet. I don't know. Jeremy's having difficulties. But we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna end, wrap up this live stream. Just wanted to do a quick update because this is not gonna get much more exciting than this. But yeah, we got the bug coming. 
making our way slowly but surely. Looking at weird downtown. If you guys are in the Oak Ridge area, we'll probably be out at the boat ramp all day. So, uh, you know, feel free to stop by and, and wave and say hi. Um, we are going to be pretty busy out there today. Yeah, we should have brought a fishing pole today, actually. You can just about see the, the fish. Yeah. Any last words? No. Try to get this thing down to the boat ramp. Taking forever. We're getting, yeah, we'll get there one way day. Too close to Maybe we can yell shore. at a bigger boat to help us. But hey, okay. hey, buddy. Heck no. But um, what? Uh. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna wrap it up. We got a ways to go, but my arm is tired holding this phone for 30 minutes. <laughs> like a workout but stay updated we'll have posts uh follow us on our rectum recovered instagram facebook you know all those other places we'll have pictures out and we'll have a full video on this soon and maybe we'll go live again today so stay subscribed thanks for watching see you in a little bit stay classy san diego stay classy oak ridge <laughs> all right later